Well, hello there. It's Sandy Alnock here to do some Copic coloring on an Easter card to make a very unique scene today. This cute little stamp set from Sunny Studios made me think of doing this little scene. I've been wanting to do some critters in a circle, like playing duck, duck, goose or something. And since they're chickens, they're birds, they're fowl, I thought maybe duck, duck, goose would be kind of a, a little mini theme to this one. So it's going to not necessarily be an Easter-y looking one other than it has these chicks in it. Because it has chicks that are facing different directions and that made this the perfect set to do this with. So you might have other stamps where you have a whole bunch of different critters, some facing forward, some facing backward, some facing left and right. Well, this didn't have anything facing backward, but it had these two little guys that I wiped their faces off with a baby wipe before I stamped them on the paper. And then I re-stamped them and cut out a little mask for the two of them. And I didn't even cut out the bottom part, I just cut out their heads and the, the sides of them. And then I took the two little chickies that face inward and put one on either side. So they're in the side of the circle. And then did two of the forward facing ones in the back and had the masking done for each one of those. And when you pull off all of the masking paper, which is called eclipse tape, then you have a little circle. And the only weird part of this one is that the little one who you see the back of his head, the one on the right, he either is kneeling because you see his little feet or his legs are just turned around backwards and his head is on the wrong way. But I'm gonna solve that by making a scene. And that's the joy of making scenes is I can fix things like that. So I started coloring these little guys and I wanted to have some strong lighting on them, but they're yellow chickies. So I decided to put them in a scene where they definitely would get dark. So the lighting is all coming from behind them, which means they'll have lighting on the top of their heads and then the side of their heads. And they started getting too brownish with the colors that I chose. So I just threw a layer of a bright yellow on top and then started in on a crazy background because I love doing crazy backgrounds. And for this one, I wanted it to be the forward part of it. The part closer to the viewer is the inside of a barn. And so the light is coming through the big barn door onto the chickies where they're having a party or playing duck, duck, goose or whatever they're playing. I don't know if chickens play duck, duck, goose. Do they play something else? I'm not sure what they would call it. They play uh, chick, chick, rooster or something. I don't know. But I am making two tall stripes on either side of them and creating a shadow coming in, trying to make them roughly even left and right. I didn't end up getting them even on the finished card, but there you go. And you could see that there's sort of a bit of light being created by the angle of the shadows from the two walls. And then I'm just throwing some color in there in the background, very muted, soft colors in the back so that they just kind of disappear into the distance because all the action is happening in the foreground. And I just wanted to throw some color in there. I even wanted my sky to be muted. So I went with a B41 and it wasn't bright enough. So I just threw in a little bit of B00 and made a little cloud up there. Easy enough to do. Throw some little trees out there in the distance, just a few squiggly lines. And I know I say things like it's just a few squiggly lines, but really that's all it is. And once you do these enough, then it's pretty straightforward and simple to do that. So there you go. So next up is to darken things and start creating that real contrast because when you have light outside, the inside gets really dark by contrast. So I'm taking the darkest E marker, which is the 4-9, and creating the inside of the walls, leaving just a little strip of lighter brown on the edges of the doors, and then creating long, tall shadows behind each of the chickies. And don't worry about it being scribbly because I'm going to fix that. I have an idea for making all of that into sort of a hay texture by using the chisel nib of that E49 and just making kind of lines that swish back and forth 
so that it starts looking like there's some texture to it. And that makes all of the squishy lines that I made for the shadows of the chickies not really matter anymore. I still have a little bit of that light coming through in between the chickies, but not enough to be, you know, a problem. And then darken it as it comes forward so that all the, the attention is pushed into the center of the picture. The contrast of having all the dark in the very foreground and all the light outside just creates a real distance. The chickies now, of course, needed to be darker because, yeah, the, all the dark around them really meant that they needed to have more color in them. So I added more of the yellow browns and then also just threw in a little bit of yellow to make the tops of their heads look brighter again because they were looking a little bit dull and smooth things out just a little bit. Now all that dark shading on the bottom covered up the turned in the wrong direction feet on that one little little chickie that has little, had his little legs going the wrong way. So no one but you will know that that little chickie ever had any issues with his little feet facing the wrong direction. So with the white pen, just adding a few little details into the hay so that it has a little more of a fine texture. Not sure if that was the best idea or not, but nonetheless, I still like the card because it's sort of a crazy idea for a scene for an Easter card, like uh, little, little chickens playing duck, duck, goose, or chick, chick, rooster, or chick, chick, hen, or I don't know. What do you think that they would be playing if little chickies were in a circle? Leave me a comment and let me know. And I will see you again in another video very, very soon. Because that's what I do. I make videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.